Hello everyone, I'm Cryptic Fox, and welcome back to our creature collecting adventure. We're playing some more Pal World tonight as we try to gather some more of our little Pal friends. Uh, I want to try to upgrade some gear and tackle the first boss that's inside of the tower and see if we can manage to survive that fight. Uh, and generally just explore and keep expanding on the things that we can craft. Welcome everybody who's here in the chat so far, or if you're watching on the channel afterwards, welcome as well. As always, a huge thanks to everyone who's clicked on that join button to become a channel member. Thank you all very, very much for the support. It's greatly appreciated. And a special thanks to our top tier mistakes for main members for choosing that top tier option. We're on the windswept, windswept hills in our little base. Uh, we got a lot to do, I think, if we're going to face off against that boss. Uh, I did see the comments in the chat that uh, the suggestions were like being level 14 or whatever. Should probably actually try to successfully capture this boss instead of just flat out killing him too. That might be a thing to do. <laughs> I'll have to, have to try that also since we failed on that uh, that world boss that we fought. Unfortunately, that one went splat before I could, like, retrieve my, uh, my little pal into its pal orb or whatever it's called again. Uh, speaking of which, we gotta make some more of those things. Because I'm, uh, I'm at zero. Can't catch any pals if we don't have the thing to catch the pals with. Oh, we're still making nails. Can't capture this one. What? Well, that sucks. I mean, I've seen him in the, uh, the the graphics or whatever, where you've got him with a big machine gun or Gatling gun or whatever it is. That's what I want. Right around on that guy with a big Gatling gun. That'd be sweet. Uh, whoops. <laughs> I might have thrown the square a little bit. So, I have access to unlock the tech for the triple shot bow, which I might actually make for that fight. Uh, we might even be able to make the crossbow if I have enough materials. I'm not really sure. Anthony, thanks for clicking that join button and choosing the top tier uh, membership, no less. Welcome to Mistakes Are Made. Thank you very much for the support. <laughs> Here, take my money, please. Uh, another thing that I meant to unlock but I kind of forgot to is that uh, we have this one ancient technology point and I have access to an egg in incubator. Uh, with a little bit of stone, I can actually craft one of these things too be sweet so we can actually start to hatch the eggs that we have and we'll find out what we've got in those things we'll craft one of those suckers uh down here apparently the crossbow is like super strong so i'm thinking the crossbow would be awfully nice um there are some other armor options provides warmth and protection uh the cloth oh oh wait we're under attack we're under attack Oh, crap. I can't even tell what's going on right now. Never mind. So, <laughs> I shot one of my own dudes, but fortunately I can't hurt them. Oh, these ones are cool looking. Oh, they've got like a sweater on. Okay, I need one of these on my team. I, need to, I should have captured one of them. They had wolves with them, too. Alright, I should probably pay more attention to that. Love this game. You rented a server for friends. Oh, that's cool. I haven't tried the multiplayer. I do know that they were having some problems with it. Hopefully they'll get their uh, their own server stabilized, but uh, I know the demand for the game has just been like out of this world, so like, not really that surprising that they were having trouble, I guess. Oh, what is that? Copper key. Keys that unlock locked treasure chests. I didn't even know there were locked treasure chests. That's fun. All right, well, I'll keep those on me, because, I mean, if I stumble across some locked chests, it'd be handy to have them. Uh, I've got pal spheres in here, for some reason. I don't know why they're in there. <laughs> Kill it. <laughs> Weird game, but a lot of fun. Yeah, it is a lot of fun. They, you know what? I was saying to somebody um, earlier today, I think. It's just, it seems to be like this cool blend of a bunch of different things. Like, they've they've hit on a, a on a good formula of, like, a variety of things that are that are entertaining. Uh, I wish I could see more details about this armor. Oh, Anthony with the five gifted memberships, too, no less. Thanks, Anthony. It's very generous of you. Exceedingly so. Uh, we have the cloth outfit right now. Practice against the cold night. Uh, can withstand some heat, so that's good for the hot regions. This is good for the cold regions. And then the pelt armor, made from leather, its warmth and defense have been improved. I'm assuming the pelt armor is, like, similar to the cloth outfit, maybe, but but better. 
don't know, we'll craft one and see what it's like. Gotta be better than the than the cloth we're wearing right now. Oh, I have unspent some, I gotta spend some more uh, snap points too. Sadly, a bit further along, and it gets uh, way slow, way grindy. Let me take the, oh, does it? Well, I was anticipating the grind because you know, it, like with most survival games, you know, you've got all that early stuff, but things are changing a lot because you know you're leveling up quick, you're you know crafting all the basics of stuff. There's always that lull as things start to get farther along. Okay, so we've got the pelt armor. So this armor is defense 35, hit points 140. Defense 15, hit points 70. So that is significantly better. Cold resist level 1. Same cold resist on it. So it is basically the same as the cloth outfit, but better. Alright. I don't know what to do with the cloth one now. I mean, I guess I can maybe sell it to a vendor or something eventually. Oh, this is full. <laughs> Uh, anyway, I got a, here's a few of the eggs that I've collected. So we've got two large dark eggs, a verdant egg, and a large damp egg. And I'm assuming the coloration in the background is an indication of the level of rarity of the item. So I'm gathering these green ones are slightly more rare than this verdant egg, maybe. Could be wrong, but I, I gather that's how it works. Sounds like the game needs a TPE system to store. It does have that, actually. So, um, all these these four things here are all fast travel points, and, and then you can also fast travel to your base. So, from here, I can go to my Pokedex. <laughs> it's not a Pokedex. My PAL box or whatever it is. <laughs> uh, and from there, I can choose to fast travel to these points. And then from there, you can mount up and ride. So, it does have a fast travel system. It's not without one. <laughs> I'm going to make that mistake a lot. <laughs> my PAL Dex. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna put this in here for now. I could probably sell that at some point, I'm hoping. Alright, so that got us a little bit better armor. Um, now we need to make the crossbow, which is gonna require more stone. I'm guessing the stone... The stone I was stashing here is... God, man, this is... This process is going too slow. I need to see if I have somebody who's better at mining stone. Web gathering's going okay. Stone gathering, not so much. I've got a cat working on it now. Cat Dean's actually my stone harvester. Um, she's kind of a slacker. Don't tell her I said that. But it's true. <laughs> she's not really, she's not really cutting it or mining it, for that matter. Uh, all right, we'll check the um, little pal deck thing over here. Pal box, I guess it's called. Okay, so yeah. This is, uh, this is them. They're coward and unstable, which are probably not very good traits. Now, I think, actually, in terms of mining, um, these guys here, I think I'm mining. Yeah, they got mining level one. Runner and Conceited. Vanguard. Anti Eater. What's Vanguard do? 10% increase to player attack. Uh, work speed plus 10%, defense minus 10%. 20% increase movement speed. I mean, those might be good. Dainty Eater. Satiety drops 10% slower. Who else can mine? Gotta have somebody with better mining. Coward. Coward unstable. Coward. All the cats are cowardly, which I guess shouldn't be all that abnormal. Work slave. Work speed plus 30%. Okay, maybe we need Dan in here. That 30% work speed's kind of nice. Cat Dean probably lurking. Cat Dean's like, how dare you? Oops. Uh, what did I do? Who did I just swap in here that I didn't mean to? Oh, the penguin. Sleppy Sandman there. Let's get, uh, let's get the work slave in here. That'll help a lot with all those comments people have been making about how we're, uh, this game is based on slavery. <laughs> what else have I got? Somebody said I had somebody that has, like, some really good traits in here. Brittle, bottomless stomach, and nimble. Slacker. Got a few of the slackers. Mine foreman. Wait, what? Plus 25% increase to player mining efficiency. Oh. That's fun. <laughs> serious. Oh my god, this is a very, very serious chicken. Don't mess with him. That chicken's serious. Uh, what else have we got? 
stable coward slagger normal. Someone said I had like something explosively oriented. I don't know who they were talking about. Artisan? Work speed plus 50%. Wow. What does he work on? Just gathering though. Muscle head. Motivational leader? 25% increase to player speed. Oh. What if that works if they're if they're in my fighting team? Or do they actually have to be deployed in order for that if that benefit to take effect? Like we could get rid of we, I've had I've got Denium Beauty in my team here, but we could probably just put the uh the Ecther beast in there, Bamara. Uh, earthquake resistant. Another mine foreman. Diet lover. Workaholic. What's that one do? Sanity drops plus fifteen percent slower. I don't know. All right, I don't know what they were talking about. I thought it was they had said something about I have like an exploding thing. I don't know what they were talking about. Probably should read the comment again before I stream, but... Conceited Runner. Vanguard. What does Vanguard do? Oh, yeah. Player attack power. Alright, we'll go with this setup for now, I guess. Did you get the speed boost while riding them, too? I don't know. I'm not really clear on how that works. Sort of option at the top of that list to sort your pals uh, by any type or level. Yeah, there's a sort here, but it's got, like... Level element or alpha pal. Kind of wish you could sort by skill type. So, like, if you're searching for a mining um, mining critter, for example, it would be helpful to have the ability to like see that in your pal list. The parrot-looking thing shoots uh, exploding eggs and kamikazes. <laughs> yeah, I've had with them kamikaze on me. That was that was definitely interesting. Veil of Darkness. What does that do? Oh, yeah. Dark. All right. Bottomless stomach. I'm going to guess Joseph is eating a lot. All right. Well, we've spent the whole night looking through the, uh, looking through the pal box. Uh, I should probably go ahead and spend my, my stats here. I can crank my hit points up a bit more. We can go, let's go with more attack damage, though. I like the idea of doing more damage. So I'm gonna go smack some rocks. Get a little bit of stone since my people aren't mining stone all that quickly. Yeah. Still very slow. Ah, oh, it's going a little quicker. Where does it go when they mine it up? Does it go straight in the box? Like, is it in their inventory or something? Like. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, okay. I thought they would carry it to a box and store it away, but it doesn't. I have to go and pick it up. So the same will be true of the wood over here. These guys have been just smoking the trees. 994... W I can't walk. <laughs> Oops. How do I... Let's just drop it. I have to like take the wood. I gotta drop it again. Come on. Give me what I need. There we go. Oh, it still can't reach. Oh, actually, if I throw it on the ground, they'll put it away for me. That's even better. You guys deal with it. It's on the ground. Go get it. Somebody? Anybody? Alright, well, somebody will haul it. Okay, well, that explains a lot. I thought they were slacking off, but really, Cat Dean was doing a fine job. Sorry, Cat Dean. I've just I've totally slandered you. <laughs> Probably would have helped if I knew how those things worked ahead of time. Oh, 
Oh well, live and learn. At least I know now. Only took me three streams to figure it out. <laughs> uh, one time, that's all you get for them picking up your drop loot. Yeah, he's not even trying to pick it up. All right, we'll just... Oh my god, I'm still not close enough to the box. Come on. Yeah. Now I'm close enough. <laughs> I've got 1,100 wood. That's that's a decent amount. I, I, I shouldn't have to worry about wood too much in the near future. Upgrade my base. Are we at a point we can... Oh, I am at a point I can do that. Nice. Base upgrade. All right. Bloop. Build cooler box, because this box isn't cool enough. Build sphere workbench. All right, well, we got base level nine. Oh, uh, I want to build my crossbow. Yes, there it is. Ta-ta-ta. I wonder if it fires, like, regular bolts out of this thing, or, like, regular arrows. Build a cooler box. There's a box you can get a uh, get a cooling panel though. To get a I thought I ha I have a couple of penguins, so they I have a cooling panel. Crossbow uses arrows. Okay. You think that, but this is an explosive exponential use of materials game, like moles. You have thousands of stone. Oh, I don't doubt it, but it's. I, it, at the point that I'm at right now, that's a pretty decent amount of stone that they harvested. Oh, I gotta eat something. Oh god, I'm getting, I'm filling myself up on eggs. I'm so disgusted with myself right now. Nice you don't have to make, yeah, it is nice you don't have to make different ammo. I mean, when you get a gun, you have to make ammo for that, obviously, but it's nice that the arrows aren't different from the bolts. For cooling pallets, other tasks to do, though, they won't do those things and just cool or vice versa. Oh. Well, I have other I have other pals that can farm and water. I think. Make sure you turn an ice pal to the cooler. There's no point in putting food in it. How do you assign them to it? Do you actually have to like go into the cooler and like choose to prioritize it for something or? throw them at it <laughs> you would literally pick it up and throw them at it like you guys aren't joking so like this thing over here for example I've got all these ingots that I just made like I, there's no option in here to prioritize it so would I actually have to pick up my flame guy and like where is he anyway where are you do I have to like go like this get on there Fixed assignment to Privet and Furnace. Okay. Huh. Well, I don't want that. Uh, because he also does the cooking. So, we'll set him free. No work available in the immediate vicinity. Switching to automatic work mode. Oh, that is so cool! Wow! Alright. That's even better than I thought. That's like... That's actually really cool. And my fancy crossbow. Okay, so we've got... Uh, crossbow's attack 280. The regular bow I have is attack 65. So... I've, Oh my god, I'm T-posing. <laughs> so, a very small, very slight, hardly noticeable improvement in, uh, in my power level there. I still have a stone axe. I gotta, I gotta fix that. Where's that metal axe? Oh, let him do that. So you assign them by yeeting them. It's great. I, I, that's actually a cool mechanism. I like that. Let's see. How powerful is this thing? And how, how much arrow drop is there? I <laughs> just one shot a chicken. All right. So for the smaller level things, it's probably not a good idea to use the crossbow on them unless I want them dead. <laughs> that thing's powerful. All right. Sweet. If I use fire arrows, it could get even stronger. But the fire arrows require a whole bunch of the flame organ things. Uh, and I have a few, but I don't think I have enough to make it worth my while to make arrows out of them. I've only got 12. So that's obviously not going to cut it. Alright, let's see about making this incubator thing. We got... Uh, wait, how do we... Wait, oh, they changed the hotkeys around. Unless I'm just mistaken. 
Incubator. Automatically hatch after some time has passed. Does it matter where this thing sits? Maybe we'll put it inside. <laughs> How about you don't overlap with my thing there? There we go. Oh, it's got to be near heat? Cancel. So being indoors won't cut it, huh? It's got to actually, it's got to sit near the fire. Well, I thought as an in like being an incubator, I thought it would produce its own heat, but I, 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 I guess not. I don't know how close to have it. Does it matter? Overlaps with other objects. There we go. Depends on the type of egg. Oh, okay. The ranch will produce so much wool and eggs. Oh yeah, I haven't walked back there in a little bit. I do have the ranch out behind my house. I should go see what's back here. They had a whole lot of wool before. Oh yeah, we got a little bit of wool again. <laughs> we seem to have gotten to a point where wool is not going to be a problem. I wish there was a way to like deposit into like so it's got like the connected chest thing when you're the crafting things. It'd be nice if you could deposit that way too. No one has to get okay. Let's try putting a, an egg in here. It's not near heat. It still works, but slower. Okay. Uh, place egg in the incubator. So it doesn't give you a clue about what need large damp egg. Let's try the dark egg. I don't know. Although I have a feeling maybe that needs to be in the darkness. Let's see? Press R when you're in the... Yeah, I know. I get when you're in the chest, but if you could just get near the chest... Kind of like they do in Grounded, for example. So Grounded has their connected chest set up, so when you get within range of them, you can just... It'll automatically deposit things into the correct chest for you. Uh, that's one of my favorite features. Seems just a little hot. Incubation speed plus 50%. So it's too hot. Whatever, it's getting plus 50% incubation. I'm not going to try to min-max it. Unless I build a second one. Nope, never mind. <laughs> I don't have enough materials. I need some more of these uh, PAL thingies. Make my PAL spheres. 40 minutes? Never saw one take that long. Oh. The plus or minus 50% or 100% speeds don't matter that much. Okay. What's this an egg that wants cooler temps than freezing it helps, but honestly, you don't need to do much, just toss them in. Alright, whatever. As long as it gets there. Hopefully this is a cool one. I've got two of these dark eggs. Be interesting to see what comes out of it. Uh, Alright, I want to make the ice box if we can. Oh wait, did, did I unlock it? I, guess I, I probably haven't unlocked it yet, have I? Technologies. Oh, I still haven't caught whatever that is to unlock. Same with these. Poison arrows, poison bow. I kind of like the three-shot bow is an interesting option. <gasps> Life Monk submachine gun. What? Submachine gun made especially for uh, for Lift Monk. Activate its partner skill, and Lift Monk will ride on your head and fire at enemies. Oh my God, he's great. Assault Rifle made especially for Tansy. Activate its partner skill and Tansy will enter gunner mode and begin shooting at nearby enemies. <laughs> Knife for butchering summoned pals. Oh my god, I don't know if I should take that or not. I want the saddle. There's the cooler box there. Training dummy, it's got a penguin tied to it. Oh my god. That poor little penguin. Fire arrow crossbow. Okay, never mind. I can't just reuse fire arrows. Oh, Nightwing saddle. That costs two. I've got three. I've got a Nightwing. Score. Life Monk for Submachine Gun is a skill for them, and you can hold your attack and they fire. Yeah, I figured it was like the, um, you know, similar to like picking up the, the guy and using it as a flamethrower. Figured it was in that in that similar vein. That's cool. All right, what else do I need to upgrade? Are there other melee weapons that, that I can make? 
I mean, I've got the I've got the regular bat, but it's not exactly great. I don't think I can upgrade anything else right now. I'm cooking the egg. It's just, it just seems a little hot. It's fine. Not really until you unlock the weapon bench. Okay. Um, it also said I needed to craft something else. No, oh, let's get the cooler box going here. It's ice organs. It's fun. I'm going to put the, the cooler box inside. It's inappropriate to leave it out here. Totally didn't squirrel or forget what he was doing. I always forget what I was doing. Are you joking? <laughs> That's like my trademark. Alright. Put that penguin on, on, on duty in here. Uh -huh. Oh, wrong one. Get out of here. Back here. I'm not done abusing you yet. Come here. There we go. Put him to work on the ice box. There you go. No work available. He's just running off. Security settings. Wait a minute. Locked activated. Oh. Fancy. For multiplayer, yeah, I obviously don't need that for what I'm up to. So he's so he, the trouble is he's the watering guy. Do I have anybody else that waters? Or is it just him? Maybe I need to get a second penguin out here. I got that. You know, I'm not really using. I mean, he's, still, Snow has the runner skill. Actually, the chicken, I'm not really. Oh, the chicken's laying eggs. But I've got I've got a bajillion eggs. Let's get another penguin out here. Uh, coward, no thanks. Mine foreman. There we go. Come here, you. I'll put you on, on fridge duty. Required cooling. There we go. <laughs> he's just, he's just gonna sit on it and poop out cold. Alright. <laughs> Jess with the super chat. Where's the barbecue monster? Thanks, Jess. Um, it's this guy here. This is the one that does the barbecuing. It's actually kind of a cool looking fox. I need a new bed for pals. I have eight already. Oh, I, I have another pal that I can summon, actually. Here I'm like trying to decide what I should do, but I've got an empty spot. Uh, let's see. They do wood chopping, collecting. Nothing but ga uh, gathering for them. I should have maybe bring out a. Actually, if I bring out the elephant, it'll do the watering. Maybe I'll bring out another miner. Conceded. What does conceded do? Work speed plus 10%. Okay. And then we gotta build another bed. <laughs> we gotta wrap this whole building in beds. <laughs> Have I gotten raided yet? Oh, yeah, a bunch of times, actually, but um, they've all been really easy to defeat. My my little uh, pals running around just sort of took care of it. I fought a little bit, but it didn't really have to do a lot. Okay, so I've got the Wolf, Firestorm, Bamara, Micro Tyrant, and then Damocles. Damocles has been awesome. I gave him a new skill. He's got this Iceberg ability. It kicks some serious butt. Almost too much. I think Damocles is the one that killed the uh, that other boss on me. Or it was the fire guy I brought at that point, I don't remember. Spark Blast. Um, he was on a pal to teach it. Spine Vine. Did I make the witch's hat yet? What does it take for the witch's hat? Cloth. I should have tons of cloth. I'm gonna get myself a fancy hat, baby. Please consider remaking the pal you named after me to Pally McPalface. I gotta, okay, I'll go try to find it. 
Here about the CEO said about the designers receiving unalive threats against... Yeah, people are ridiculous. Oh, the amount of controversy related to this game online... I totally get the, the comparisons with Pokemon. I get it. Some of the models even look very, very similar. I, I get the criticism on that front. But, like, all the comp complaints were like, Oh, they made all their art with AI or something. Like, who cares? Honestly. I could not care less if the art in the game was done by AI. <laughs> I get if you're an artist and you're worried that, that, that it's going to be stealing jobs or something. That I, I totally understand that concern. But that would never have even crossed my mind. So, Pally McPal face? There we go. See, the mods have already made a Pokemon mod for this. Oh, really? <laughs> that doesn't... Yeah, and the unalive thing is super irritating. That's just people, like, dramatically overreacting. Wait a minute. Did I not make the hat? Oh, I was making the cloth. That's right. Oh, the cow. This is a slow process. How is it? None of my pals know how to sew. Come on, you guys. If Nintendo isn't suing the devs, there's no problem with the character designs. Yep. Yeah. Everybody getting offended on Nintendo's behalf. I'm sorry, but Nintendo's a major corporation. If they're interest, if they're concerned about protecting their intellectual property rights, they're gonna take care of it. <laughs> you you don't need to like cause a huge outrage on their behalf. People are ah, people these days. I, I just don't get it. The the level of animosity that stems out of things and the way that people act online is really just brutal. Want a handcraft pal? Oh, I gotta get a handy pal. Be like, hey pal, can you give me a handy? I, well, probably one of the monkeys would help with that. It's a whole cultural appropriation myth, but it's not even cultural appropriation. It's like a game. Like, the, isn't this company based in Japan also? Like, <laughs> that, so therefore you're not appropriating their culture? I don't really buy into that whole concept. Oh my god, that guy looks so surly. Uh, I don't really buy into the whole cultural appropriation thing anyway. It didn't change my hair? I feel like it changed my hair. <laughs> uh, I kind of wish I got to pick a color when I was crafting it. But black works. Good old fancy witch's hat. It gives me 20 defense and 60 hit points. Well, alright, giggity. Here I thought I was just making a decorative, co like, cosmetic item. Please read my entire state. Oh, sorry, I gotta scroll back to it. Like the whole cultural appropriation myth. All cultures grow by appropriating from other cultures. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. The, that, the whole thing irks me. I don't know. I just feel like survival's become too easy. People have too much time to complain about things. Sometimes complaints are valid, but sometimes they're just over the top. All right, we have 17 of the pal spheres, so we could do do some more palling. Uh, I can shoot more of the fire dudes and try to get some more of the... Uh... Oh, actually, you know what? I unlocked the saddle. I should probably try to craft the Nightwing saddle. And why don't I have Nightwing in my army? That's a very valid question. Who do I swap Nightwing out for, though? Damocles is too cool. Maybe we'll get rid of Bamara in favor of the Nightwing. Suntan Lover and Zen Mine. Increase the neural, uh, neutral attack damage. 10% decrease the incoming fire damage. We'll swap it out for Bamara, I guess. Since I already have a ground mount. Oh, crap. Daedrum's Necklace. Nightwing Saddle. Oh, man, I need a lot of stuff for that. Jeez. Okay. We have no more ingots to make either. Okay, so I've got to I got to gather some more materials. <clears throat> Gives you a sense of accomplishment after you step far away and see all you built. Yeah, it is cool. I like the. I, I mean, the draw distance in this game is really good too. Actually, I mean, I have it set on like epic or whatever. But like when you can see things, I was over on one of the towers or something over there, and I could see my house. <laughs> it was great. It's a minor thing, but it's something I like. 
Stone axe, metal axe. Let's get rid of the stone axe. Oops, that was not at all what I meant to do. We'll discard it. Confirmed. Okay, I've got a metal axe. And a vague sense of how to use it. Not much lower attack damage than the bat is, actually. That's funny. Okay, let's um, gather some of these things. Oh, I'm hungry again. Ah, I did it again. How yeah, often I have to eat those fried eggs? Just goes to show you, eggs are terrible. They don't even fill you up for very long. Huh. Wife and I were thinking about buying Pokey, I mean, Pal World. <laughs> are there slots for different characters? Uh, there is, yeah, you can have different save games, I think. When you're logging in, you choose your world. Oh, you know what? I don't know whether you can choose a different character. You, you definitely choose a world. Oh. Shrouded in a few days, you pumped? Darn right I am. Comes out on Wednesday, 10 a.m. Eastern Time. And conveniently, I took the day off work. So I have uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday off work this week. I'm going to be streaming during the daytime as well as my normal night streams. I'm going to be playing a lot of Shrouded this week. Hey, Roy, how you doing? There is character selection, okay. Because I noticed that, like, I don't, um, I don't have multiple characters right now, so, like, when I log in, it just sort of defaults to this one, I guess. I'm gonna sleep. I know I could go try and catch some more night critters, but I'm gonna make it daytime so I can see what I'm doing better. Or probably more importantly, so people on stream can see. Because of you, I have Timberborn. I'm playing it right now. I managed to get my community to go into an oscillating equilibrium society. Oh, nice. Uh, no, I haven't captured a human yet. I had a, a wandering trader that came by. And I apparently could have caught him, but... I wasn't sure whether he would stay as a trader if I... If I, uh... Captured him. Let's start on Game Pass, which has a few builds behind. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I'm playing on PC. So I guess for anyone who's on Game Pass, you may not have the uh, selectable... Selectable character or whatever. Where's my wolf? Let's go, Rabbit. I need to find more metal. Gotta make some more metal. Metal, you say? I also need more of this. Huh. Ah. I don't think you can find the pal orbs just like laying on the ground. Who's dropping those things? I'm in a single player game. <laughs> Game Pass version of the game is so bad, I installed and bought it on Steam, night and day difference. Is it really? Is it because you're used to, you're used to, like, mouse and keyboard controls for things, or is it like the actual game interface is just not working right? Or were you using the PC Game Pass? This game confuses me. I want to like it, but it seems like trying to be too many genres is not selling any. I think it's actually doing them all pretty well. Might just be my personal preference. Oh, I'm literally too heavy now. Wait, here's a question. Can I still ride the wolf if I'm overweight? <laughs> we'll get there. It's, we'll get there eventually. Okay, I need to get rid of some of my weight. Um, What have I got that's so heavy? I mean, I mean well... 400 and some odd ore will do it. I got 16 pounds or whatever of eggs. That's a fair amount of egg. Let's, uh, we'll drop that. Oh, I'm way over 587. Pfft. I can't even get close to getting down to the right range. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, you're way down by too many items. Yeah, yeah. We already covered that. What about, uh, let's take half of this. We'll drop it. 
How is that possible? Okay. How much do I have to drop by? I gotta drop by like 25, so... Th <laughs> that gets me close. There we go. I'll have to come back for the ore later. Come on, rabbit. Oh my god, don't look at me, just... Right. Where's Rabbit and Ashley? Ah, oh, they're not here all the time. Rabbit's been popping in a bit more lately, but uh, I haven't seen Ashley in a bit. I think life stuff just kind of got in the way a bit for Ashley, so she hasn't been on, uh, on stream much. Which I totally get. Everybody's got stuff going on. Time for Jazzercise. <laughs> no, no, not Jazzercise. It's time for Prancercise. All Prance or no Prance. Okay, that cut a fair amount of weight off. <laughs> I got 32 eggs. Maybe I don't need that many eggs on me. I should put some of them in the fridge. And by maybe, I mean I definitely don't need that many eggs on me. Dustin with a super chance. Let me get this straight. You beat them to within an inch of their lives, capture them with a magical ball, and then force them to work for you? Yes, absolutely. That's exactly how it goes. Oh. oh I'm on fire! Ah, oh, crap. I think I walked in the campfire. Holy hell, does it take the fire to go out? It broke my shield. What? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> oh, okay, carry on. <laughs> I prefer to think of it as I've convinced them through violent force to be my friend. And as my friend, they're willing to do things for me. That's what's really happening here. If you look at it in like a real cockeyed kind of way. <sighs> Your pals carry anything for you? No, not in the sense of like, um, if I'm out in the field, for example, I can't have them just like put stuff in their inventory. But the ones that are back at the base... Whoops. What happened there? I just, just found out by accident. The ones that are back at base, if I leave things on the ground, they'll pick them up and go put them in storage chests for me. But, like, where I'm out here, for example, and I overloaded myself, I can't give it to them to carry for me. Your friend that you can butcher once you get a butcher knife. <laughs> yes, exactly. You know, and funny enough, uh, I was watching that movie today where the uh, the Guatemalan rugby team crashes in the Andes, and they have to resort to alternative means in order to provide food for themselves. <laughs> it's kind of like that. Yeah, uh, it was alive, but it was uh, it was in another language and dubbed. Um, it was on Netflix. It was called like Fortress of Snow or something. Uh, I forget what it was called. I guess it was the new one, but it was, it looked like I, everything was the same as I remembered it, aside from like the the dubbing. So I don't know. Society of Snow. Yes, thank you. That's it. <laughs> See how good my memory is? I literally just watched it today, and I already can't remember the name. <laughs> I are smart. Oh my god. It takes a... Sometimes it's hard to get the, the ride command to work. If there's something in the way, it doesn't work. Alternative means you mean like road apples? Uh, let's just say they took a culinary interest in their friends. Okay, get the... Uh, sanity 100%, nice. Okay. So he'll work on making that for me. I need to make some more arrows. Because we can't fight a boss without a, a gajillion and a half arrows. So we'll get those started. Let's check out our stone deposit here. This guy is such an enthusiastic worker. Look at him go. Woo, good job, little guy. Although he's pretty quick at it. Give him credit for that. Got 129 stone out of there.
Thank you for being my friend. Well, thank you for keeping our food cold, Ice Cream Taco. Have I caught any of the boss? No, I've only fought one boss, and let's just say there was a minor incident involving exploding of the boss before I could try to throw a, a pal ball at it. <laughs> I, uh, I hadn't quite figured out the whole, like, hey, you should unsummon your guy thing before the boss dies. Yeah, so it died. Have you been in caves yet? No, I haven't found one. So apparently there was one back here. Before. Uh, we went over there, but it wasn't there. Apparently they're like timed or something. They're not always around. I don't know how that works. So I haven't done that yet. Uh, we haven't done the tower yet either. I'm going to try to tackle that tonight. We've got the crossbow crafted. I'm just making a... I'm going to make a... A metric buttload of arrows. Uh, I upgraded my armor. We've got the witch's hat, which gives me a little bit more armor, too, which is kind of nice. Oh, the chest is back. I didn't know these things respawned. I can't get off my wolf. <laughs> Can you jump, please? There we go. All right, good job, wolf. Another mega spear. Nice. I think he has a good reason to low longer trust us. What, just because I slapped a saddle on him and, uh, and mounted up? <laughs> He's stuck down there now. Yeah. Whoa! Okay, that was not what I meant to do. Wait, did I? I didn't make his saddle yet, did I? I ran out of materials. I kind of forgot. You guys are right. I really do. Yeah. Oh, hey, buddy. Ember's here. Hold on. Cat cam. Hey, buddy. If we're going to play a cute critter game, why don't I have a cute critter on the desk, too, huh? <laughs> Bosses are rough after the first one. I believe it. I'd rather have a challenge, anyway. I played sold games. <laughs> oh, you know what? If I was smart, I would have teleported up here, but I'm not smart, so I didn't. Hey, 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 that's my water. <laughs> don't get any wise ideas, cat. Don't need you sticking your paws in my drink. Yeah, I saw what you were going to do. <laughs> do it. <laughs> why is this why does this water taste like kitty litter? I don't understand. <laughs> what happened here? Wait a minute. I thought there were stairs that went all the way down to the beach. Oh, here they are. We'll see if the cave's down here. I don't, I don't know. Apparently, they're not there all the time. Oh! Oh, that's... That's an inappropriate way to treat my wolf. All right. I'll die! Another pal soul. He just sneezed. That's not a good sign. Oh, there's a cave there. That wasn't there when I came here before, I swear. What could possibly go wrong? Let's go in. Enter dungeon. Expires 230-31. Boss level 13. Oh, this is going to be a problem. <laughs> Oh, what fun! Bad tide incoming, yeah. You can force a reroll on the K-Boss. I don't know how that works, but alright. Level 9 daydream things. Alright, uh... Can I summon my pals in here? Yeah, I can. We're gonna use uh, Syracuse, because he's, uh, he's the boss. So the crossbow is slower firing, but boy does it do damage. I'm getting venom glands off of these. Maybe I should use melee attacks. Okay, this uh daydream thing is getting in my way. Ah, oh, it's 
a cool mushroom dude. A Kilimari. Oh, that's all right. Maybe that's maybe that's not a mushroom. It's like a calamari, but much more violent. Wait, do you not catch these things in here? Guess not. Uh oh, stream hiccup. Do you change their attack strategy, or do you want to? How do you change their attack strategy? I have them set up right now to. Well, I think um, I think this guy I have set to attack my target. Focus on the same enemy. Now oh, you can catch these. Oh, I did. Okay. It's a bad throw. I got you. I'm picking up what you're putting down. That's where I came in. Okay, so we gotta go over here. Just keep running. How many can I have fight with you? Well, you can have one summoned out to fight with you, but then there's a necklace that I got that lets me have this second one float around with me and do some attacks. I should actually try to give them a, a, like another special attack at some point. A Mao? Mao Satan? Nose? Nope. Oh, no. Uh. Ah, crap. Yeah. There we go. I had the wrong sphere selected somehow. Hooray! We got a new thing of a bobber cat thing with weird loop on its tail. Those are awesome looking, that cat? Yeah. Don't worry, Timber. You'll still be the first. We got the Firefox at night, it acts as a torch. Oh, that's handy. Oh, Syndicate Thugs are in here. Hold on a second. Sure they won't mind if we just bring our own little friend in here with us. Hey, you guys! That's right, get cooked. This one's trying to run from the fire, but you can't run! Get thugged! Tried to block, but I don't know if it worked. Ah, oh, I wasted an orb. Didn't mean to do that. Capture the human. Are they any good? Do they have good traits? I see some ammo up here, I think. Nope, that's just a corpse. <laughs> Man, I'm going through food like crazy tonight. Those eggs are just not very filling. Okay, we have multiple directions I can go, and there's no map in here. All right, Mao. Oh, ow. I don't think so. I get a second one. Went from fried eggs to jam on toast. <laughs> oh, you can make jam on toast in this? That's fun. Bugging out a bit. I think the ore is all generic, right? Like, we don't need... You need a berry farm? I have two berry farms already on the go. I've just been using the berries to feed my pals. Can I collect these? I can't collect these mushrooms, can I? No. Guess not. Come here, buddy. Come on, I need to hug you some fire. What's wrong with you? 
There we go. Get cooked. Okay, we caught our first human. I got a syndicate thug. Captured human on, uh, Pal Pergo. Whatever. I got a human anyway. He's my new best friend. I caught him by surprise. I'd rather shoot him with a crossbow, but it, it didn't really bring a lot of arrows. Probably should have reconsidered that. <laughs> It's called Potions, a curious tale I play. The demo seems good. Oh, what's this now? Uh, the metals are by rock type, so ore is ore, but there is coal, sulfur, and quartz that I know of. Oh, okay, so like this here, is this rock or is this something else? Coal. Huh. Well, that's the first I've seen the coal, so I might as well grab it. Ice cream taco's taking a break, but he's responsible for keeping our fridge going. Yeah, the thug is my friend now. I beat him up and captured him, so now for some reason he likes me. It's kind of like... It's kind of like one of those negative relationship kind of things. <laughs> Found a chest. Pal sphere, mega sphere, and gold coins. All right. I think you can climb in this too, that's neat. Alright, I guess that was it for this room. This was just a little syndicate thug room. <laughs> yeah, it's like Stockholm Syndrome, yeah. <laughs> It's, uh, we've engaged in a negative relationship with our thug. Um, he's suffering from Stockholm Syndrome. He believes he's in love with us. We're gonna use that to our advantage. So this is just regular ore, I think. Yeah, it's just regular ore. I can get that outside of the cave. I don't want to fill up my, my whole weight capacity. Which reminds me, I should probably spend more points on weight capacity. Oh my god, they're back. What are they fighting? Oh, they're fighting daydreams. I thought I killed all the daydreams in here. Hey, you guys! That's right, get cooked. You too. Ow, you little jerks! Correct. Oh, the fire killed him. <laughs> oh. Timber's not a fan of the excitement, I guess. He's like, it's too rowdy over here. I saw you attacking those cute creatures. What's in here? Can I climb this? Is there a secret head in here? This is probably just a closed off doorway that he can't do anything with, right? Yeah, that'd be a dead end. <laughs> yeah. Now here's an unsettling thought, can you capture the rain gun, the rain guys? Yeah, you can capture just about anybody in this game, I think. There might be some bosses we can't grab, but why is... I think my guy's bugged. He's like stuck in permafight mode. And that, there's just some more enemies over there that he's trying to get to? Kind of like saying I had a stalker once I catch him, he's my pet now. Yeah, <laughs> basically, just like that. Oh. 
I suspect that's the boss area down there. I want to see what else is in this cave before I go fight the boss. When did my dwarf start singing? Once we start mining some rocks in here. It's like, I strike the stone and I strike once more. <laughs> Wait, this is where I came in, isn't it? Crap. Okay, never mind. I'm still playing combat music, but there's no enemies. I wonder if it's bugged out and there's one, like, stuck in a rock. Smack that in the super chat. Rename the thug, Thugnificent. <laughs> uh, I can't rename him here. I think we gotta go to our, our pal box first. Huh? You taking a bath? You know the water. Can't swim underwater in this game, can you? Yeah, I'm gonna guess that the uh, boss room's coming up here. We'll get our crossbow ready. This is like a level 13 boss, I think it said. Pal Sphere. I mean, this feels like a boss arena, but... There's nothing here. You have five dream dreams there at the same time, even the necklace. You have five of them? Really? That's just, that's crazy. Wow. Now, they don't seem to have an attack that does all that much damage, but if you have five of them shooting all the time, that's nuts. That's the random treasure in the boss room is always the big tree with a large pal. Okay. I didn't see the large tree or the big tree or whatever, but all right. I've been known to be not very observant, so it's possible I overlooked it. Gives you one just in case you forgot to bring one to capture the boss. Oh, I forgot you can capture the bosses in here, too. So, so to swap it, I just hit the two. I've only got one Megasphere, though. Oh, the thugs are back. What the heck, man. Hey! Don't be like that. All right, you know what? Mess with my fire dude, then. Oh, yeah, you're gonna get it now! Suck flames! Get syndicate thugged! No. Oh. Bit, bit of a delay on firing the, uh, the flamethrower effect. Come here, cat. I want to singe your whiskers. Come back here. Oh crap. Ah! I learned to dodge more. Okay, that's a good unnecessary amount of damage. <laughs> Suck it, cat! Where'd he go? Now I wasted my orb. Let's craft opium stuff. So behind the boss is an exit with uh, two chests of loot. That only opens if you defeat or capture the boss. Yes, enemies respawn. Remember? Okay. Uh, so. I mean, this room has the tree roots. That's not it. Definitely not there. Where the heck is he? Oh wait, when I, wait, when I came in here, was there more than one door I could have gone through? That might have been the thing. Maybe I have to double back farther. Well, that was the treasure room. Hmm. 
<laughs> they recommended this game so much for Steam Deck lately. Well, that's because it's uh, it's getting crazy sales. Like they sold in the first, I don't know, forty eight hours or something. So they sold three million copies of the game, and it was the I think the highest survival game in terms of like concurrent players ever on Steam. I think. Oh, here we go. Oh, wait. Which way did I come in? <laughs> did I come in this way or the other way? I don't remember walking through that much. Uh, I probably should have paid attention to whether I went left or right in that first room. Oh, we're back to the Kilmari, so this might be the way I came in. Missed again, dang it. <laughs> My fire guy keeps getting bugged out. I think I'm gonna swap him out for the penguin. I do like the ice effect on the penguin. Okay. Now. I'm gonna left before we go right this time. Well, I'm gonna, gonna scarf some more eggs. I wonder if you get hungry faster when you're getting damaged because it's like consuming it to heal you or something. Because I feel like I'm going through a lot of food. I heard you can do a cannon thing with the penguin. Uh, did I summon the penguin out yet? I don't think I did. Oh, you have. I think you have to have the. You have to have the launcher for him first, and I don't have that. Oh my god. Look at the size of the hands on this poor fool. I'm sorry. I'm not really sorry. I'm not really sorry. A fuddler. Ow! You little fuddler. Magger. Second time's a charm. There we go, Fuddler. Its large claws boast of diamond-like hardness, however, sharpening these claws consumes most of its energy, leading to it sometimes spending entire days doing nothing else. Oh. Well, that's a problem. Assuming I can use that guy for mining. Ow! Jeez. <laughs> Damocles is a beast, man. He destroys stuff. That special attack I gave him just rocks. It's in here somewhere. Maybe I should have trapped that one just to really get the 10 I need. Uh, can you put your food in your auto feed? No, I, you have to have a, uh, a feed bag, which I haven't gotten yet. I don't know if it's just like something in the technology you unlock. But without the feed bag, I can't, uh, I can't auto feed myself. I'm wondering if it's something that I should have got earlier, but it's one of these unknown items. This game's not for me, but I like watching others play, because I know I'll never buy it. Certainly nothing wrong with that. Everybody likes different stuff, right? Uh, a lot of unknowns. Metal chest, heat resistant armor, mega shield. That's not just any shield, that's a... There's the rocket launcher! <laughs> we gotta get that sucker. Oh, it's in the purple column. Uh, Palescence condenser, grappling gun, there's the feedback there. Yeah, okay. So, until I get that, I can't, uh, I can't auto-feed myself. Can these be harvested, or no? Guess not. That's cool. Can 
Come on, guys. Can you combine monsters? No. Not that I'm aware of. You can use them for special attacks if you have you know, the requisite items or whatever. So for the uh, little Firefox thing, there was like a handle I had to craft so that I could use it as a flamethrower. For our little penguin friend, there's a rocket launcher you can craft so you can launch him as a rocket, which is kind of neat. Isn't that interesting? Kilmari is the boss. Won't well, mind if I kill his friends, will he? Oh my god. Reload. Oh, look how much damage that did. This guy's susceptible. To go. You better come back in here. You're gonna, you're gonna like kill this thing too easy. Oh. Yeah. I got the wrong orb or something. Mm. Hooray! Wrap yourself around an enemy's head, sucking out their insides. Pal mummies are occasionally found, but these are in fact. Kilimari victims. Oh. Well, that's fun. Learn Shadow Burst. Combine my full metal alchemist? Yeah. This must be a stone to teleport out of here, I guess, right? Is this an either or thing, or do I get both? Pendulant? Uh, Pendulant? Oh my god. Pendant of Diligence. An accessory that slightly raises work speed. Oh, yeah, great. What I always wanted to do was work better. Uh, cold resistant pelt armor. Neat. Okay, so I've got the pelt armor now. This one must just have increased cold resist, and it's like a, an uncommon as opposed to the common pelt armor. That's neat. Ooh, I got a gem. Ruby. We sold to a merchant for a high price. Hooray! We did a thing! Hey, it's that neat guy! How's it going, buddy? It's me, that guy! <laughs> How's it going, Nate? Alright, let's leave the dungeon. I think we're ready to take on that tower boss, maybe. Once I get a whole bunch of arrows, anyway. Let's get, uh, let's get my, uh, my wolf out here. Ah. Mount up! Wait a minute, where's my dream thing? Oh, here you are. Like it was slacking. Boss and cave can be. Wait, so I can just repeat the cave again? Like, just do it like, right away? Oh! Eight minutes into expiration. Enter dungeon. Will there. Is it like fully reset? It'll be like a whole nother boss in here? Or did I just enter the same dungeon and it's already cleared out kind of thing? No, you have a timer, eight minutes till it's gone. Okay, so this is the, the same dungeon then, right? The Steam version have it where pals like drop and you pick up wood. They're transporting, getting stuck in a loop. Uh, I don't know, I've seen some scenarios where they, they've gotten stuck in weird ways. Oh, I literally can't leave this way. Oh, well that sucks. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Helps if I don't walk past the thing that says push F to leave the dungeon. I are smirt. So like eight minutes from now, this thing will go away, and then it, or seven minutes now, it'll go away and could be a different one. That's cool. If the timer runs out, you're kicked out. Ah, I see. All right, that's cool. I can dig it. Let's get out of here. Go back home and see how those crossbows, bo uh, I guess they're just arrows, but see how the arrows are making out. Possibly drop the ancient artifacts the first time you kill them. Oh, did I get another ancient artifact? No, I got a zero. You talk about, are you talking world bosses then? 
or like any boss. So if I see that boss again somewhere else in some other capacity, I won't get the ancient artifact off it because I already beat that one. You can find the boss, turn around, leave, then return to find a new boss, and when the timer runs out, instead of another dungeon, the portal will close. It'll be a wall. Oh. Alright. It's cool. I like the variety of stuff you can do in this. Makes for fun adventuring. <clears throat> Yeah, Rabbit's pretty fast. I like, uh, I had, um, I was running around on Nate Sheriff for a while. But, uh, you know, Nate just, he just wasn't as good. Might admit, probably because he was a llama. <laughs> I named my llama after you, Nate. So you were really good at spitting at people, but you really weren't a very fast mount. Um, and so I caught a wolf, and the wolf is way faster. You were like... You're like this llama that wears pink stockings. It's great. It 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 looked just like you, so I was like, oh, tss, that's got to be innate right there. <laughs> uh, actually, where is it here? You might have already caught one yourself, Nate. In fact, you probably did because there's some in the starting area. But where where is that thing? There it is. This here, Nate Sheriff. It's my alp my my uh palpaca or whatever it is. Packa packa. <laughs> yeah, so I named uh, I named that one Nate Sheriff. It, it seems suiting, fitting, or whatever. Uh oh, oh crap! These are mixed in now. I thought they would all stay like according to when I caught them. Kilimari boss, fried squid, poison blast, hydrojet, empty skill slot. Okay, I need to name some uh, some more dudes. What can we name th uh, this one? I need somebody that's not already in here. I think we got a kiss girl already. I named so many already, I don't even know. Oh, Sasha. This could be Sasha. Oops. I don't know if I can type. Alright, we got Sasha in here. We need a... We got a Fuddler we caught. This guy's only got level 1 mining. Oh, this one is level 2 whatever that box thing is. What is that? Transporting. Oh. Okay, who can I what can I name this one? Oh, Honic. There we go. There's another one. Uh who else? Syndic who wants to be a syndicate thug? Oh wait, somebody uh somebody sent me a super chat asking me to name that something in particular. What was that? Uh activity Thugnificent. <laughs> this one is gonna be Thugnificent. There we go. The only thing I do is handiwork. So if I want a handy, I go to this guy. That's uh that's awkward. Uh Mao does whatever this is. Farming. Now we're under attack. Yeah, Babar, you're already in here. Branwin's in here. Stella's in here, I think. We need a oh you know what? We'll get Devouring Souls gaming in here. I don't know what that was, but I'm gonna try and catch it. What 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 I got? The things are overlapping. I can't see what the name of it is. Lee's Punk. Oh my god. I caught a Lee's Punk. Oh, is this thing ready? <gasps> the commission complete! Ba ba ba! We got a Tombat! Oh. Okay. Well I didn't have that before, so I guess that's something new. What are we here? Uh, okay, we got another Mao we got a name. That was awkward. Don't repeat that phrase. <laughs> I'll do my best. Thanks for the super chat, Jess. What should I name this one? Any cowboy ones? Nope, but we got a cat right here. Mr. Papa Kuka. There we go. Um... I love this guy's hoodie. That is amazing. He only has 
Partner skill, sixth sense. What does that do? When activated, it utilizes its sixth sense to, de to detect nearby dungeons. Oh, that could be handy. Hard skin, defense plus 10%. It does poison blast. He's good for transporting, gathering, and handiwork. Defense 75. Attack 137. That's cool. That's a cool ability, actually, finding dungeons. Oh, Greg! We don't have a Greg in here. There we go. Now, now we got a Greg. Nice hoodie, Greg. Uh, Tom Matt. Level 2 mining. Ooh. Oh, look at this thing. When activated, uses ultrasonic waves to detect the location of nearby pals. Dragon killer. Decrease to incoming dragon damage. That's also mining. Oh, mining too. That's the one I want. I want that one out for my mining skill. Greg the Magic Dragon. Don't forget you can give new abilities to matching pals. I don't understand how what you mean by give new abilities to matching pals. Um, do you mean from the fruit? Or from something else? Because I did find some fruit on a tree that I fed to my stuff and gave them things. Finally, something named after me. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> I've been trying to name all kinds of stuff in here. Oh, the fruit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, this could be Kurt Zeller. Welcome to the team, Kurt. Uh, I'm going to swap that out, mate. Well, I think I'm going to swap it in favor of Dan. Because it's got level 2 mining. Come here, you. Flies, too. Oh my god, it's bigger than I thought it was. Here, you mine. Nice. That'll get us a lot of stones. Mr. Bear! With the 13 month of message. Name the next one after the mods. Well, we have one named Joe already. We have one named, um... Rabbit dog already. Um, who else do we have in here? Obviously, we don't have one named Nightbot because you know Nightbot's not a person. We got one named Nate Sheriff already. That one's my favorite because it wears pink stockings. <laughs> so I think we have one named Joe, don't we? Don't forget to put a new egg. Oh yeah, I've got to plug a new egg in here. Dungeon boss you captured keeps its uh, increased size when you bring it out. Oh, fancy. It's fancy. Let's see what this large damp egg is. It's an uncommon one, too. Another 40 minutes for that thing to hatch. I guess I should move that thing. It's maybe a little... I wish I could pick it up as opposed to, like, breaking it, but... Wow. You've been slacking, buddy. I, I thought you were going to make a whole bunch of arrows for me, but no. We do need an Ashley named one. I thought we named the bird Ashley. Did we not? Maybe I forgot. Oh, it's still, it's still just named Nightwing. That's, this is the, I was going to name this one to uh, Ashley. Cause it's the one that it's one of the er, the first ones that killed me. <laughs> He's that thug of the crafting bench. Does he? Uh, well, I mean, the penguin was helping, but what do we got here that I can swap out? I, I probably don't need two things. Well, this was a level two. Oh, that one sense too. I probably don't need two of them gathering wood right now. So we can put the thug in play here. Come here, friend. I can't pick him up. Is he just gonna walk away? Yeah, I have tons of wood now. What is he doing? He's just leaving. Yeah, you better come back, shirt face. I can't pick him up. Okay, he did it on his own. Ooh, okay. Well, hopefully he's a little quicker working. 
<laughs> Alright, I'm gonna build the sphere workbench, the, is the other thing I gotta make. Um, no, let's throw a wall torch on here. Oh my god, get out of the way. There we go. Get a little light indoors and out. Do I not have unlocked the, uh, the spear workbench? I did. I got. I haven't crafted it though. Production. High quality bench. Where's my spear bench? Medieval medicine. I already got out there. Oh, there it is. Spear bench. Nails. I gotta make nails. And I gotta eat again. Evil eggs. What if you extract the Thug Pal's fluid? <laughs> yeah, let's not find out. I don't really want to know. <laughs> not saying, just saying. bread in the fridge, I guess. Take some more of the eggs out since I've gone through a lot of those. Says that guy's were uh, Oh, look, it's going, but he's not even standing there. Did he just... I think my thug turned invisible. Well, oh, whatever. As long as he's doing what he needs to, I guess. Okay, that, um... Crafted the high-quality workbench. Crap, I gotta finish making the arrows before... Uh, why did I have him make arrows over here? That was dumb. I could've done those on the other bench. Cancel. Build those over here. There we go. We'll do that. This one I need... Uh, I need more ice organs and leather. We might have to go on a murdering spree. Might do that after. How many arrows have I got? 105. Just doing thug fists and thug... Thugnificent things, yeah. <laughs> Let's go tower boss. You don't need a ton of arrows. Your pal should be doing all the work. I'm about to find out. We got some armor. I got 105 arrows, and then we'll we'll suck out a couple of the uh, couple of pets. Oh wait, I could just fast travel near there. Here I was about to ride there the hard way. <laughs> Yay, murder! <laughs> Everything's more fun with murder. Where did I put those uh, larger orbs? Can I stick them in here. Oh, nope, nope, it didn't. Where to put them orbs? Got any more of them orbs? There they are. I don't think we can catch the big guy. Apparently, at least that's what I'm being told. But we shall see. No, I haven't rode the deer yet. I do have the saddle for him, but uh, I haven't ridden that one yet. The wolf was so fast, I had fun riding around on the wolf. I was like, eh, Ekthir deer, wolf. Mm. Welcome to the Rain Syndicate Tower. Tower of the Rain Syndicate. Time, ten minute time level we get on this thing. Join boss battle, I guess. Help if it wasn't hacking up along. How many pal orbs have I got? I don't know, like 17, and then I've got some of the bigger ones on me. Four or five of them. Sucks the Game Pass version doesn't have naming for pets still. Oh, really? Yeah, the Steam one, uh, definitely better on that front. 
But I've spent so much time naming things now. It's kind of cool. Oh, she's both rebel and cool. She probably belongs to Team Rocket. Zoe and Grisbolt. I don't like Grisbolt. Get a little guy. Oh, geez, don't target me. Oh, you got yourself frozen. 30,000 hit points. We're gonna need those headshots. I don't know if I should be shooting him in the head or her. Ow! <laughs> well, that took my whole shield out. Reload, reload! Oh, what happened there? A little lag. Oh! Oh, that sucked. I think I'm getting the big numbers when I'm hitting her. me oh, someone's doing a bunch of damage <laughs> oh reload what's that whirlwind ability maybe I should have gone for the fire arrows That sucks. That sucker. Oh, he's in danger. What? Ah. Oh, God. Ow, that sucks. <laughs> huh. I bring a little more firepower. Literally. Oh, 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 that sucked bad. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Come here, you. Oh, my God. He's so slow. Get Damocles back out here. He's a, he's a boss. Yeah. Oh, reload. Ah. Hehehe <laughs> 
Oh, it just bounces off! <laughs> He's immune! <laughs> Alright. I had to try. Somebody said that we couldn't catch him, but I had to try. Since I failed so bad to catch that first one. Maybe we just get him as a reward for beating him? <laughs> yeah, right. First skill acquired five ancient technology points. Well, that's she's still moving. She's still moving. Rain Syndicate Tower. I guess we're at the top here. Does it teleport? I'm much faster. Well, it is. Hooray! It only took me like what 40 arrows or something? 42 arrows? Double tap. <laughs> Beat the electricity to get a rebate on your electric bill. Score. Who wouldn't want to pay less on electricity? Uh, okay, so we got the uh, the first tower boss toasted. Defeated. Oh, that a victory. Is there no, like, treasure reward for that? Like, did I not get anything cool? I mean, I got te ancient technology points, I guess. Could afford the small feed bag now. The grappling gun fires a hook that latches onto distant targets. We've got uh, PAL Essence Condenser. Combine several PALs of the same type to create a higher ranked version. Okay, so somebody asked earlier if we could combine PALs. Apparently you can. We just needed one of those things. <laughs> Sasha with a super chat. Cryptic and Rabid Duck are still doing well. That's too funny. <laughs> I love that you have ducks named after us. Thanks for the super chat. Glad to hear your ducks are doing well. I'm going to get this Pal Essence Condenser. That's cool. I don't know. I don't know if I care about the grappling gun. I might later. But at the moment, I don't know that I care. Maybe I'll just hold on to the points for that for now. Uh, what else we got? We're going to make a metal spear. That's probably better than the bat that I'm using. So let's unlock that so I have a better melee weapon. Monitoring stand? You can paint your pals to work on various things inside a base. Try not to overwork them. <laughs> I can just, I can get up on the on the stand and just like tell them what to do. Wheat production. We got uh, viewing cage container for observing captured pals. Pals inside cannot participate in battle or production, but they do not uh, become hungry. Said so, like if you want them for window dressing, let's get the mega shield. Uh, cooking pot. Can prepare officially prepare more of your favorite foods. Oh, we got we got to get the penguin launcher. The metal chest would be good too. All right, sweet. The stand is misleading. You have normal, hard, and brutal work conditions. If you really won't use it, oh yeah, I'm not gonna bother. Do you have limited points? Let's spend the milly nilly. Oh, I'm totally spending the milly nilly. Willie's my favorite Nilly. Just unlocking random things, really. <laughs> I went to the wrong spot. I'm gonna go up here. You get so many points. You'll need the cooking pot. Did I unlock the cooking pot? I know I did something. No, nope, but it didn't unlock it yet. But I got a penguin launcher. Can't go wrong with a penguin launcher. All right, let's make a uh, metal spear if I can. I need more ingots. I think I had set them to craft over here. I don't know if, yeah. 47 ingots there. Stick those in there. Average farms, remember? Let's go with metal spear. Oh, Mega Shield. Mm, Mega Shield first. What about Millie Vanilli? <laughs> hey, blame it on the rain, man. Blame it on the rain. 
I only heard Willie's my favorite. <laughs> no. No! Bad. Very bad. Need a cooking pot if you want to breed pals later. Well, we'll breed them eventually, I guess. Level 35 and have three unused. They start to drying up, but there's still more levels to get. Uh, and places to hit teleport spots. Gives 1.2, and Dungeons can drop books that give 1 point. Yeah, I think we'll be alright. That shield should be quite the improvement. Very nice, very nice. <laughs> Blame it on the stars. That shine at night. Whatever you do, don't put the blame on you. Make the combiner thing. Yeah, I gotta see if I got the materials for it. Oh, he's helping. Oh my god, the thug is helpful. He helped me. So this gives 260 versus the 100. That's a pretty good upgrade. That's some significant additional shieldification. I want to make this uh, cold resistant armor, but I need more leather. Oh, wait, that's crafted. Wrong spot. It's crafted over here. Oh, let's see. I need ice organs, I need leather, and I need ancient civilization parts, which I apparently used up. Like, metal spear. He's not helping, he's just poking you. He's tapping me on the shoulder. Excuse me. Ex excuse me. Excuse me, C could you please move out of the way? <laughs> well, it seems different. The only... Ooh, a new gear that was not worth it was going from primitive handgun to the next handgun. Oh, okay. Right, yeah, I'm not at the point of having guns yet. I'm still using the uh, the primitive crossbow. My primitive sharpened pokey stick. <laughs> I like him, he's pointing. Oh my god, we should have named him Joseph! <laughs> Always with the pointing. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of the bat. It does 50, the spear does 80, so it's a, it's a, it's a slight upgrade. Let's discard it. Jeez, uh, that thing's long. It's dragging in the ground! I'm gonna get myself stuck. If I lean back, I won't be able to move anymore. I'll just be anchored to the spot I'm standing in. <laughs> Uh, okay, where's the... Uh... Oh, I need more ancient civilization parts. Palladium fragments. Metal chest, we can make those. I might, I might put chests in here. I kind of don't have a lot of room in here, but... We'll put two metal chests in here. Hopefully they got like a significant amount of storage space in them. The egg's ready. Is it? No, it's got 17 minutes left. I ended up keeping a couple of weaker weapons so uh, I didn't accidentally kill stuff before I could capture it. Yeah, that's... I, uh, I've i been keep keeping hold of them. They're in here. I have my, uh, my old bow here. The old armor I probably don't need. That could probably just go away. Same thing with the shield, I guess. Unless there's something you get from those. Like, if you can break them down at some point, but I can't imagine them being very good. Well, that's a good size. Start cleaning out this stuff here. I'll just stash it all inside. Whoops. My bad. I may have picked up too much. Coal is heavy. So I shouldn't be surprised. Okay, so I've got the stone spear and a wooden club here, and I've got my old bow. So I think I'm alright in terms of, like, gear or whatever. If I have to uh, not kill some of the little guys. Because there's still some of those things they don't have ten of. The armor and shield, I suspect, I can break down. <laughs> Sadly, the game suffers midway with a huge stall tactic. Everything taking so long just drains away the fun. Oh, that's a shame.
Now here's a question. Oh, I got it. I know what I can do. I was, I was like, how am I gonna get rid of the uh, these these boxes that are out here? But I can just go into here and choose disassembly. There we go. Wow, two of those two of those metal boxes were were more than four of the other boxes. That's pretty good. Can you sell the old vintage equipment in town? I probably can actually. Yeah, I probably shouldn't destroy them. I could probably just sell it. <laughs> I haven't gone to the town yet. I should probably do that too. Uh, wow, these guys ate, eat a lot of food. It must be that when they take damage, they consume more. It takes food to heal them up. Uh, why am I climbing to my house? <laughs> that was weird. Took the rest of my eggs. Probably repair my stuff before we go anywhere. Someone said I think I can hit R to repair all in here. Give a new stats. Well, it says I should be able to, but I can't. Oh, because I don't have the materials ready to repair all. Crud. Uh, I haven't made the feedback yet, no. I just got it unlocked, but I haven't made it yet. I gotta fix my witch's hat. Can't be an unstylish witch wearing a shabby hat. That would not be appropriate. Um, what do I need to make? I need to make cloth. We'll get the uh, syndicate thug working on that. How close am I to getting the saddle I want? Uh, I used up too many ingots. I don't have the leather. Okay, I gotta go. I gotta go murder some stuff. <gasps> I need ingots for that too. I want, I want the penguin bazooka. Must have penguin bazooka. Wait, he's. What does the fire guy drop in here? Does he drop flame organ things? If so, that'd be great. Or maybe he's just wandering. Prowl with the raid. Hey, Prowl, how's it going? Thanks for the raid. Much appreciated. Welcome anyone who might be joining from uh, from Prowl stream. Put the egg away. Okay, we need to murder things. We'll let the we'll let our team do what they're doing here for now. Uh, I have three of these. I need four more. Okay, so there is over here. There's uh this teleport thing is by a small settlement. So I'm gonna go over there because I want to see what the small settlement's about. I think we can sell excess pals and stuff there. Um, I do want to build this. Essence collector thing, but I gotta get some more parts for that. Or essence condenser, rather. Can't do that until we get more things. Uh, and then production wise, I think I have all this stuff built. Did I build the, the sphere workshop yet? I don't think I did. No, I still gotta build one to upgrade. Maybe I'll do that before I go. Build some nails. I don't think I'll get very many. Volunteer to be sold. <laughs> Why do some pals sparkle and are bigger? They're like a rare version. Um, I'm not sure if they like have stronger abilities or better stats or what the deal is, but they're they're considered lucky, I guess, in the game. Uh, and they're basically just like a rarer version of the critter. That was out of nails, yeah. Put pink cat in your party, helps you carry more. So those, um, the abilities that the different pals have, do they confer them on you whether you have them, like, currently out and wandering around with you? Is it like just having them in your party is enough? If so, I should pay more attention to who I have stacked in my party, I guess. I forgot to upgrade your encumbrance. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot to spend some stat points. Oh, we'll let him do that for a second. Uh, wait. Well, it's got one upgrade. Many hands make light work. Literally just joined. You said, as you said, welcome to whoever just joined. Oh, I was, uh, it was a raid from, 
uh, Prowl's uh, stream. Oh, and I assume you came from Prowl's stream. I uh, see. I'm a little slow. I, I'm, I think I'm punchy today. It's Monday. <laughs> Valheimon, go! <laughs> You should have the cloth now for the feed bag. Uh, yes. Where do I stick the feed bag? I'm assuming I gotta do that on the quality bench to make the feed bag. Look, let this guy make the nails. Let's get the cloth. Feed bag, yes. Day is it? I'm retired. Well, happy retirement. It's Monday, unfortunately. At least where I am, it's still Monday. If you're on the other side of the pond for me, then it might be a different day. Um. Oh. Oh, it's just like, okay. Requires average feedback before I can do it again, so I can throw the eggs down there. <laughs> I can't believe I'm choosing to default eat eggs. What is this world coming to? What does the purple floaty pal do for you? So I gave it a necklace, um, and it uh, it flies around with me and attacks stuff when I'm fighting. And then I have a, a, a second pal that I can summon. So I got two ancient points. Uh, not worried about the pal deck. Let's see what those nails. Let's done with the nails. I should take these precious pelts with me to sell. Same thing with these rubies, of which I have two, apparently. Those also could be sold. The thug nailed it! Oh my god, yes he did. <laughs> Sad to say, yes he did. Probably should build another egg incubator, too, when I get around to it. Um... Uh, I was gonna make the sphere workbench, that's what it was. I need a little bit more platinum fragments. I gotta, gotta go smack some platinum stuff. Then we can get out of here. Oh, I also need to repair my stuff. I forgot I haven't repaired my witch's hat. It's looking a little shabby. The world eats eggs, only you don't. That's what, and then still, I'm always right. So therefore, eggs equal evil. This cannot be denied. <coughs> Excuse me. Cough that went quick. Uh, is the chest back of the waterfall? I already went and got the one chest. I'll check the one over here. Oh, you mean like up top? I don't think there was one down bottom here, was there? Maybe I'm wrong. I hold rabbit away. Was there a chest down here? I don't remember. Eh, eh. I know there was one up above. I got the one that was up, up above. There was not one here. Okay. Ugh. All right, good jump. That skills. I got what I needed anyway. I got the palladium one. Just curious uh, how it works about respawn times or whatnot. So the chest that was at the waterfall up above did come back. I already looted it tonight. Um, I don't know what the time delay is on respawns, but uh, they do respawn. Uh, R. Let's go ahead and fix my hat, because I can't be walking around with a shabby, which is uh, I need an ingot. Well, crap. Okay, we're gonna be walking around with a shabby witch's hat on. I wonder if it breaks, if it'll be like permanently broken. Sphere workbench. Would you get out of the way? <laughs> oh my god. The hard part with the daydreamer is you can't make him go away when you give him the necklace. He just stays there. That's right, we gotta have that fancy buckle. <laughs> That's where the ingot goes. <laughs> Perfectly good use of an ingot. Why make weapons with it when you can make a buckle for your, your pointy hat? 
You just put him in the... Yeah, I, I know. But I like to have him flying around with me. Just being, uh, cantankerous. Okay, so we're gonna need ingots eventually to, to make the megaspheres. But now we can upgrade our, uh, thing again. Base upgrade, level 10. Build a cooking pod, build a wheat plantation, build a mill. Um, uh, did that give me... It did give me another spot for a pal. What do we want to stick in here? I feel like I should have that boss pal on me. I still want, kind of want to have Greg run around with us. Firestorm's handy, though. Damocles is a boss. What does this guy do again? The car is Kilimari's gloves. You can float for long periods of time while gliding. Oh! That's his friend skill. I guess until I get the saddle, I don't really need to have Ashley in here. Take this one. He's got an ability that helps me find dungeons. I'm gonna try that out. No, oh, uh, I also want to put someone else to work. <laughs> I forgot. Unst Do we want an unstable monkey working for us? I don't know if that's a good idea. What's going on, Timber? Yo, I'm gonna put this guy to work. Let the boss float around and like put things away for me. I wonder if he'll fit through the door. That might be actually be a problem. Sasha might not be able to make it through the door. Has transported level two, does that increase your weight? I I don't know how that works. Hold on. It there's no like tool tip for transporting. I thought that was like the amount that it could carry to like Um For like it to like carry things to put away. Because it's it's related to the work suitability, so I don't know. The pink cats? So what do the pink cats have that gives them that trait? Well in team, Katina helps carry supplies, increasing the player's max carry capacity. Ah C. Hey buddy. Timber's back on the desk again. Decided to grace us with his furry presence once more. Hey, buddy. Our transport is carrying from carrying ground to chest. Okay, that's that's kind of what I figured. <laughs> Unstable monkey of Sun Wukong. No, we have something on guy. Use a video editing program or just upload straight. If you do, is it a free program? So um, when I'm streaming like this, I'm using OBS, which is a free program. Uh, when I upload a video, I, I edit it before I upload, and I have to render it into a, an MP4 that I can then upload to YouTube. Uh, for that, I'm using a, a paid program called PowerDirector, but there's a, a number of different options out there. I think there's like a DaVinci Resolve or something that's free, but that's just for like video editing, not for like streaming or anything. Alright, so we got those guys doing their thing. Pals without beds will get stressed. Oh, I gotta build a bed. I need a bed. There's the beds. Infrastructure. Stuck. I can't move forward. Why can't I go forward? There we go. Another pal bed. Adventure 3, but more fancy parts I think you pay. Yeah, it has like uh it has a free component to it, and then there's also a paid option. Um, let's teleport. We want to get uh, a little, little closer to our destination. Actually, <laughs> well, this is probably the closer, the closest of the two, I suppose. Just want to see what's up. Uh, my please dude read his reads the skill books. Just want to see what's up while my PZ dude reads the skill books. Oh, Project Zomboid. <laughs> I was like super confused. Ooh, let's see how this guy's ability works. When activated, it utilizes a sixth sense to detect nearby dungeons. When it says nearby, how much nearby are we talking here? Well, I found a chest. Does it show up on the map then? If he 
if it scans on. I'm curious. I'm very curious to see what the range is of the detection on that thing. More arrows after I made a whole ton of them. We into the small village. No, that's where I'm headed now because I want to be able to sell some stuff potentially. Wait a minute, I got an auto feeder. Why am I not auto feeding myself? That's weird. I shouldn't be getting hungry. Should I? Was it shiny by the lake too? Shiny where? You're talking about like a lucky critter or like a chest or something or what? This is the teleportation thing I came in on. I don't think that's what you're talking about. I should actually kill this thing just on, just on principle. I can get leather and flame organs off it. This is just to my right? Oh, right here. This thing. Little pal sphere. Or over here, you're talking. We meant these shinies, these are just the palladium things. I think you meant the sphere, though. Alright, see where this takes us. Actually, not sure which one has been closer. This that teleport I went to, or the one that was over by the tower. Oh well, there's another egg. We got eggs. We know how to hatch them. Yeah, this, is the, this is the correct way. This is the way. I feel like I should get some ectheres just for. Uh, Oh, he still hit me! <laughs> Dang it! I need to get off this thing. Oh, God! Oh, that one died. Wow. Oh, Rabbit got smoked a little bit there. I don't think I should fight on Mount Back. That just doesn't seem to work super well for me. You can finally pick up my body? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think there's anything on it, but we can go get it. Ecther deer venison. For you. For rush ore. Huh. Ah. Well, I wasted a spear. Apparently my guy, he's got a bit of a limp-listed throat. What is that? Why is it red? You trapped? Lock chest. Arrows, old bow schematic, uh, which is absolutely no use to me. That's fun. Fancy flying things over there. Yeah, I used the copper key, so it was a locked chest, I guess. Um, I have five copper keys on me, so it's not like it was a big deal. Got four left now. <clears throat> I'm trying not to cough, Timber, so I don't scare you off, but I don't think it's going to last. <clears throat> Excuse me. here. I need my torch. I hate only having four spots here. 
keep having to swap things out for the torch all the time. Oh, there we go. Alright, we're having this over ride. Uncommon, rare, etc. Do you mean for the chests or just in terms of like items? Because I, I was aware of the item thing, but. I haven't seen a lot of chest variety yet. Oh, there's another one of those top bat things. That was not the weapon I was trying to wield. Ah, I keep wasting the orbs. They're too slow. That wolf is too efficient. Kill all my stuff. Welcome to the small settlement. That's travel unlocked. You get schematics that are like epic, like my crossbow. That's cool. Very nice, very nice. Small settlement, uh, does not appear to be exactly populated. I was hoping this would be where the vendor was. They either aren't really living here, or they only show up during the daytime or something. <laughs> oh, that my reliable PDF officer. Hello, officer. Hey, pal, teamer. There's hardly anyone around here now, but before the rain syndicate came, many people lived here. Or many more people lived here. Because of that, my income's really taking a hit, you know? If you're in trouble, let me know. As long as you pay, I'll do anything. Anything? I says, Spartan. <laughs> Put my wolf away and let him heal a bit. Okay, this is the pal merchant. Hey, friend. Hey there, I've got some great pals in stock. No funny business and only legit trading, guaranteed. It always inspires confidence when somebody says, Hey, I swear, no funny business. I promise, everything's on the up and up. Let's sell the slacker. We don't need the slacker. How do I sell them? Select or deselect? Okay. Slacker? Uh, we don't need that. What about this one? This one doesn't have any skills. It's only level four. Sorry, Mr. Bald Spot, you're gone. Work slave. We gotta keep the work slaves. Capacitor? I don't know what that does. Work slave, hard skin. I don't really need any of these things, to be honest. I'm curious what capacitor does, though. Nobody needs an unstable sheep. Heated body. Dainty Eater and a Pyromaniac. Oh, yeah, we're holding on to the Pyromaniac. Aggressive. Hydromaniac. No skill chicken. A Sadist. All right, get rid of the Sadist. <laughs> Fragrant Foliage Hooligan Unstable. Musclehead. Artisan. No skills. Serious. Sold in slavery. Yep, that's right. You're welcome. <laughs> Weren't you going to combine them? Yeah, but I'm not really going to use the sheep, so what does it really matter if I combine them? <coughs> Pardon me, sorry. I'm going to try to combine the ones that are uh, more useful for me. Coward slacker. Unstable coward. I mean, get rid of the cats. They actually, I mean, it's going to make for a decent sale. Oh, dude, what are you doing? Dropped a shoulder drop on my uh, keyboard wrist pad thing. Unstable coward. Some of these we can keep around. Some of these, I don't know. I don't know which ones to sell. I guess we'll just get rid of like the low level ones that I'm not using anyway. No, oh, that, that, dude, that, out of my water. <laughs> it's mine. It's not yours. You got your own water dish. Go drink for that. Mine foreman. I'm assuming the ones I have assigned to work at the uh, camp are not in this list. At least I hope they are. It would suck if I was taking away my workers. Oh my gosh, I finally ate something. Um, work slave. 
All right, we'll sell these for now. 1902. Ka-ching! Bye! What's he got? Oh, he's got a cow! Mozzarella! Does it make mozz mozzarella cheese for us? That'd be great. The Joltog looks cool, too. Power Shot and Shockwave. Partner skill, Jolt Bomb. Can't really, like, inspect these things, though, so you can't see what those abilities are until you already have them. We survived the culling, yep. <laughs> Sorry, we liquidated a few pals there. Put a little money in our pocket. Let's see what else they got down here. What do you do? Gossiping villager. Oh, you gossip. Ever explored a cave? As a matter of fact, I have. Heard the caves are home to loads of unique pals. What's more, there are even uh there are even treasure troves created by pals with a knack for collecting stuff. Give me a shout if you spot any caves, won't you? Oh yeah, I'll, I'll get right on that. I totally won't use it for myself. Wake up the drunk lady. Welcome, haven't seen your face before. Did you come from far away? Must have been a long journey. Take your time and rest up. Well, like you were. Trying to sleep off your drink. He's a booze hound. Wandering merchant. Welcome! I've got some good items in stock. I'm sure you do. I'm sure you don't. <laughs> Same as before. Uh, flame organs. I mean, most of these I could just collect by killing things. These are all caps, headbands, long-eared headband, which at is the one I got already. I don't really need anything off this guy. There's dungeons nearby, down by the water. Down by the bay. But if there is, oh yeah, right there. I want to see what this looks like when I, yeah. when I use this dude's ability. Does it show up on the map? It does. Okay. So if there's anything in range, when I scan, it'll show up on the map. That's cool. This time I have more, uh... Mm. Uh, I have more ammo on me, so I don't have to go in and melee things this time. Just smoke with the crossbow. How much time's left on this thing? Get in there! Oh no, only 146 minutes left. Was it on the HUD too? I didn't notice it on the HUD. Uh, yeah, but I, I just wasn't sure what it was going to look like, so now that I know that, that's handy. Guy's like, am I getting shot in the head? I am getting shot in the head. Yeah. Take your junk, thank you very much. They got some nice pal spheres on there too. Is it the same layout in these dungeons all the time? Do they, is it always the same directions for the branches and stuff? Penguin boy, you gotta do some work here. What's wrong with you? Generally saying this view bit swapped. Uh, okay. So they must have like a template that they just use and they can like potentially swap rooms or something. Yeah, this looks awfully familiar. Bloody NPC AI. <laughs> And it can't solve again. This time it wasn't my fault, I didn't cough. He just decided it was time to lose. Only been in one dungeon so far. Alright. I mean, this part looks the same. Maybe a slightly different placement in the dungeon, but... Oh, another one of those guys. Butler. Yeah. Oh, 
it's not loaded. Got another fuddler. to hit reload when I fire the crossbow. Look <laughs> at Damocles bouncing. <laughs> I love the way he runs. Did he just fart ice? Maybe. He's got a couple of uh, questionable abilities. got like a water shot or an ice shot, I don't know what it is. And then there's another one that's like this ice spike that comes up out of the ground. That was the one I gave him from like a piece of fruit or whatever. How did he get up top there? That was weird. Where's my dreamer dude? Be nice if they were where they're supposed to be. Uh, Gamas. Yeah. All right. Choose you, Penguin Poo. Oh, look at the one type of orb on me. Dang it. Pull him in before he kills this thing. Boss Gamas. The same way, try to get everything done if I can. Too addicted to Valheim at the moment to try this. Got done building a portal hub and the Elder. Nice. I'm looking forward to the uh, the Ashlands update coming out for Valheim. This week we're going to be getting into uh, Enshrouded. I'm just like, playing a ton of that. That'll be good. Comes out on a Wednesday. Huh. That was the wrong button. <laughs> High grade technical manual and a defense pendant. Accessory that slightly raises defense. And this thing here, a book that contains secrets of amazing technology. Use it to obtain a few technology points. Consumable. We we'll get one tech point out of that. All right, that's all right. Precious entrails. Part that could be sold. Oh, I forgot I was gonna sell these things. Got an ancient civilization part, so that's good. Oh, wait. Uh, wait, if I leave the dungeon, I can come back in, right? So then I can start from the beginning and get the other rooms I didn't get. Is that more than one pal out at once or something new? So, um, the one pal that I have um, has a necklace that lets it hover around behind me all the time. So it basically gives me an extra one. And then you can summon one pal as well. So it's like a bonus uh, pal you can have with you. But it's like that specific one. It's not like you don't get to choose a, a particular one. Although, where is that dreamer thing? Daydreamer. It's not here. I'm daydreaming somewhere. Only one exit off this room? I guess there is. I've only got a couple minutes. I want to try and find the, uh, the bonus loot in here. Sounds like slavery with extra slaps. No, it's not slavery. It's forced labor. It's different. Mm. You realize that's what the dream necklace does. Never craft it. Yeah, so it keeps this thing just like floating around with me, and then I can yeah. I can use my uh, my pal sphere to summon my other pal, and it'll just sort of attack stuff while I'm fighting. The tricky part is I can't unsummon it. It's just sort of always there, unless I put it away in the uh, the pal box. Uh, which one has the bonus room here? Looks like all the enemies are gone. That's right, they're unpaid interns, that's what it is. 
It's way more accessible than Pain Interns. Yeah, I'm eating all the eggs because I just happen to have a lot of them. I found a lot of eggs. So as a convenient food choice, I'm letting my guy eat them. Even though they're disgusting and no one should ever eat eggs. Unless you're making like a cake or something. That is acceptable. What about unequipping the necklace? Uh, wouldn't that unsummon it? Uh, well, you don't really, uh, you don't really equip or unequip the necklace, I don't think. It's not like an item that sits in your inventory. It's just sort of like you unlock it and it's... It's uh, like a becomes like a sub component of your character. Like uh, I don't know if there's any, even any way to see it in here. No. Anyway, it's just like oh key items. There you go. It just becomes a key item that you have. Uh, I don't know if you can get rid of it. I guess you could drop the key item. Maybe that might work. It's not like a normal, uh, a normal thing, but I guess you could probably put it and you could drop it. The thing is, like, as soon as you pick it up again, though, it just, it's automatically in that key item spot. So it's not like you could stash it in a chest, I don't think. Although maybe you can. I haven't tried. Might be worth trying. See what happens. That door's not a real door. Oh. Gotta be running out of time now. The feed bag work? Yeah, as soon as you use it, the, so when you craft the feed bag, it becomes a key item. That opens up the slot down here, you can put food in. My character is periodically eating, but he doesn't try to stay full. He just, like, tries not to starve, it seems. Which I guess kind of makes sense, but you'd think it would, like, it would pay attention to how much food you get from eating something. And then if your food level drops down to that level, then you eat it, so it just pops you right back up to full again. But that doesn't seem to be quite how it works. percent ratio thing it helps you take less food to keep going I don't see a lot of those big palladium rocks if I could better grab it I guess after you beat the boss all the enemies are gone purple chest not much. Would like a fast way out of here, please. Probably is easier encoding to work off uh, the already built-in hungry flag. Oh yeah, maybe when it gets to the hungry point, it, it just automatically eats something. That could be. <clears throat> On Game Pass, when I went out, all items were gone too. Oh really? Okay. So another difference between uh, the Steam version and the Game Pass version, I guess? So the ch for me, the chest stayed. I don't know whether that's intentional or if it's like a bug or something. Yeah, the boss room's farther away than just running out on foot, I think, though. If I'm not mistaken. Because it's way off in the other wing. Actually, if I were smart, <laughs> didn't even occur to me I could ride this thing in the dungeon. <laughs> All right, live and learn. I are smart. Here I'm running around there the slow way like a chump. Uh, it's all the, the, the expensive stuff. Oh wait, uh, probably the uh, pal trader isn't gonna want to buy the junk, but this guy might buy it. Let's walk. Do you have infinite money? 
Can I please have infinite money from you? That would be great. We sold to a merchant for a high price. 1700 2000 3000 Yeah, we got a little bit of money off the guy, I guess. Ooh, we can buy a cow! <gasps> I'm gonna buy a moo cow, baby. I don't think there's anything else here I want to sell. Sold! 9518 I'm buying a moo cow. I wonder if it'll produce milk. <laughs> Got some great pals. You better still have a moo cow. Oh, you son of a... <laughs> Where'd the moo cow go? You had him just last night. Did you let it go or something? What's up with that? I don't want any of these. I wanted a moo cow. Dang it. The old Bose? Oh yeah, I probably should sell the old Bose schematic. I'm not exactly going to use it anymore, am I? <sighs> I guess it changes each day. Dang it! I could have got a Moo Cow! Maybe you could milk the hog thing? <laughs> I don't know. I don't really want to milk the hog unless it's going to like produce bacon when I milk it. Mm, milked bacon. Yeah, it sells for a thousand. We'll get rid of that. I'm not gonna craft another old bow. We've got the crossbow now. Get that out of here. Take my money and run. <laughs> we shall have to go somewhere. There are moo cows. Yeah, I'm sure they're, they're out in the wild somewhere. Ooh. King Paka. He's only level 23. We can take him. What level am I? What level am I? I'm level 17. We could take a level 23. <laughs> Maybe? Oh, wait. I don't have the right orbs on me, though. Hold on. We gotta go home. Ooh, this one's ready. Please be a moo cow. Come on. Well, it's damp, so it's not gonna be a moo cow. It'll be a water thing. What do I got? Panking? Surprisingly, it's unrelated to pangolin. If we wanted to be the center of attention, this pal will strut stuff for any onlookers, and it's a muscle head. Okay, I gotta see what's up with that guy. Um, uh, what are these abilities here? Level two watering, level two mining, level two cooling, level two transporting, and level two handiwork. Oh my god, this guy's awesome! While fighting together, fire pals drop more items when defeated. Okay, we need that guy. That we need him. He's good. He can give me things. Stuff and things. Who wants to be uh, the pen king? <laughs> LKD is going to be the pen king. Because I don't think we have LKD, LKD in here anymore. Okay, now. Here's the problem. I like all my dudes. <laughs> and the pen king doesn't have the abilities that this guy has. He's got the aqua gun. But he doesn't have the iceberg, which is like good damage. He's a muscle head, so he's got higher attack. Slower work though. Damocles 2.0, but he doesn't have the doesn't have the crazy ability. I, I want Greg for the scanning. I think I'll swap him out for the firestorm guy for now. I wonder if I have to have him like actually out on the field in order for that ability to take effect, or if it's like... Oh, where's my... Put this in here. That was gonna take 30 minutes. Incoming raid! The Free Pal Alliance Hardliners. Uh... Hmm. Oh, work. Ooh, look at the size of him, too! He's freaking huge! <laughs> the way he runs. The scanning's an active ability. It is, yeah. That's a lot of dudes. Like, a lot of dudes. Oh, we need, uh... Crap. Now oh, I wish I had the flamethrower guy. Hold on, hold on. Let's get this sorted. Yeah, which one was it? Suntan Lord. Uh, we'll swap that over Rabbit Dog for now. Huh. 
I choose you, Flamey Poo. Come follow me. Don't run off and do work. Come and do the fire thrower thing. It's a lot of dudes. Hopefully, they don't have ranged weapons. We can just stand on the bridge and cook them. Get wrecked. percent chance that they're purple. That's weird. Uh, this guy's like special or something? I guess I need a different orb to catch them. That's crazy. They just want to be free. Yeah, that's what it is. Alright. Let's swap those back. Oh wait, there's still some here. I could waste all my orbs on these things. It's a good if I could actually hit it. Magnificent, what are you doing? Uh, nope. Well, that was too much. I hit a rocket in. Overkill. Dang it. I got medium pal souls and medical supplies off those guys. Oh, what is this? No, they killed the Cativa. What? The inhumanity of it all. <laughs> this guy's trying to pick up and he's just pooping it out everywhere. You done pooping yet? What are you doing? <laughs> it's like raining junk. Okay, uh, the meat can go in the fridge. I guess I'll leave my money here. Oh, that needs to go in the fridge, too. I was put the berries in there, also. Oh, we'll cook a meal before we go? Did he not fit through the door? Uh, maybe. I don't know what his deal is. Whatever it is, he's not very helpful right now. He brought you one spoiled. <laughs> Yeah, I just like piled them all up on the ground there. Let me pick them up. Better balls, EV. That's inappropriate. But while I'm here, I should probably make some of those better, uh, better pal orbs. And fix my stuff if I can. So can't repair all because I don't have ingots for that or that. Oh, that's a problem. Okay, I need ingots. <laughs> I'm gonna need a whole lot of metal. I need ingots for those orbs too. Uh, did I have any more of those green orbs? Yeah, I did. I got four of them. Nice. Like 11,000 monies, that's pretty good. That's grass, that's electric. Okay, I've only got four of them, but it's better than like none. No, oh, I'm gonna sleep and make it daytime before we go. Should you add a box for them to add things to and leave yours inside after you sort? 
Eh, probably a good idea if you want to sort stuff, but uh, I'm terrible about sorting, so I probably won't bother too much. <laughs> I just hope the big guy can get inside the door. Like, if he picks up stuff to gather, is he, is he just going to be stuck out here with it? And what's wrong with Thugnificent? Why doesn't he ever, like, act like a person? I take offense to him. I say good day. Uh, all right, we're gonna go over to here. That's 38. Yeah, we don't want to tackle the level 38 guy. Okay, he's uh, like over the mountains here or something. I think we go over there. It looks like there's there's probably a path we can follow. Another statue, nice. Lift monk of a G. Oh, do I have to go across that bridge? Oh, I think I do. I do believe I do. I have to do a bunch of harvesting to get some metal too. Oh, there's another one out there. Yeah, you stay here. Check the trader for a cow. I left all my money behind. <laughs> You're right. It is the next day. I probably should. Oh, oh I forgot. No, I'm going to die. Oh, what was I doing? There's a reincarnated guy over here. Please don't die. Please don't die. It's, it's just a short distance. I forgot about the stamina thing. I was not paying attention at all. 105. 72. 39. 7. Dead. Yeah, oh, you son of a... <laughs> Why? Why you do this thing? Can I not choose this? I, I guess I can't. No, we'll go back home. On the plot side, I could just teleport and be like right there anyway. Should have rode rabbit. I should have, because he could swim. I wasn't thinking. I know it's a shock, but sometimes I don't think. Maybe his hair looks more crazy than usual. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Alright, we'll just teleport back. Son of a crap. At least I was by the fast travel. <laughs> because Ashley hungers. Survive the boss and die to the water boss. Imagine that. I'd like to say that shouldn't be expected of me, but... And yet, there it is. They'll definitely get their next step. But this time I'm going to jump straight to that thing because i got to get my stuff. Actually, I died in the water. Where does it show up? It'd be funny if it was also on the pillar out there and I can't I can't float to it anymore because of the parachute's on my corpse. No, oh, there it is. Take it all. Okay, what's this guy's deal? It would be way better if I'd stayed on the wolf. Cannot talk to him while riding. Alright, reincarnated guy. Don't look at me like that! You're trying to say I've done something wrong? I'm not an officer anymore. Not even supposed to be here. I nearly died after getting hit by a truck while on the job. When I came to, I was on this island. When I was sure I was dead, I prayed for a slice of pizza. Now I can make pizza appear in my hand whenever I want. Pretty amazing skill, yeah? Here, take a slice. Ice. I, he literally just gave me pizza. <laughs> a dish made by piling red berries, tomatoes, and cheese on bread. Eating it improves defense by 15% temporarily. That's cool. Buff food. Go, go, gadget pizza. Can you give me more pizza? Come for some more pizza? Little trick makes me hungry about it. Uh... You found enough. Oh, he only gets me to have one. I guess that makes sense. Oh, another cave. Let's go check the cave first because they have a time limit on them. Those life monk statues don't. Dun, dun, 
da. We're in, baby. <clears throat> oh, let's get to uh, this guy doing his thing. Actually, we'll get. We'll try this guy out. Let him level, let him level up a little bit. Once I find the way he runs humorous, and so therefore, he is good. Hey, I leveled. Oh, jeez, he does have that ability! Wait a minute. He didn't have that before, did he? Nope, he didn't. He must have leveled up and got it. So he's got the iceberg now, too. That's incredible. And he's getting a plus 30% attack bonus, too. Okay, he's pretty good. <laughs> he's probably a little overpowered. So traders all have the same things until you go into different biome. Desert here has a different thing. Okay. Well, it changed when I went into the dungeon, so maybe... Oh, this room's different. I didn't see one of these in the other place. I don't think. Where do we go? Where do we go, King Chicken? I, like, I don't know, but I gotta go first. Ah. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh my god, that iceberg thing just nukes them. And it's an AoE effect too, that's neat. We can check a leather. Overpowered is my second second favorite kind of powered. Well, just overpowered for my level, like in general, maybe not so much, but you have unused stat points. There's my pickaxe again. Eat that. Your fave is Robin Quill? I haven't gotten that one yet. How about the Moss and uh, Runs? It's such a delicate being. <laughs> don't offend his sensibilities. You don't. You won't like him when he's angry. Or something. Only the saddle for Ashley could have flown over. Yeah. Can't make the saddle for Ashley yet. I gotta go get some more, uh, some more metal. And I think I needed more spark plugs for it also. Ancient technology. So the boss is down to the right. We'll go here to the left and see. Another Mao. Nuke that poor cat. I'm gonna get him with the iceberg. There it is. <laughs> Tell you that iceberg thing's pretty good. I tried to avoid the boss room, but I think I'm going to the boss room. That's funny. Oh, maybe not. You I ate a fried egg. That's so gross. Nothing? Just coal and the big crystal? Assuming me this is coal. Oh, that's, that's just actually ore. 
Wish pals could put food in chests. Uh, I should have so many milks needed. Oh, yeah. We came out of the cave behind the village. Uh, look to the right across the water. There's one of those glowing green effigies. I, I did see that there was a thing on the um, stone there. But if you're saying there's another one I missed, I'll have to check it. Oh, found a chest. Put bread in it. Oh, good. I think I got that bread in that purple chest. It would feel like a waste otherwise. Oh my god, overkill. Alright, back to the other room again. Why a witch's hat? I don't know, because I bought it and that's what I made. It gives me stats though, it's not just cosmetic. It gives me defense and hit points. Nothing's just cosmetic. Yeah, that's a plus, though. I like that. Oh, he just wrecked those guys. I'm getting venom glands off those. <clears throat> witch hat? Which witch's hat? Which witch is which? Who the witch? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's set up the... Well, actually, there's, uh... There should be that... Other bonus loot room still, right? Does every dungeon have that, or is it just like certain ones? This room's all glowy. Okay, you can't jump. Come on. There we go. All right, this room's a waste. There's like nothing in here. Oh, chest. Ah, junk. Excuse me, come through. Get a rabbit. Smoked him. Okay, we gotta go get the boss before we run out of time in here. Might have already been pushing my luck, actually. Uh, it was here? There's loot, Fox will stimpin' out everything. I can't help myself! I gotta go loot! Aw, oh, it's a big Tiefen boss! Isn't he cute? for is I don't want I don't want Captain Chicken McFreezy Pants there to like eliminate this thing. Mm. There we go. You can have a whole bunch of giant sized pals. Learned Emperor Slide, a new ability for my chicken guy. Who's not a chicken at all? He's an ice chicken. Another, ooh, crossbow schematic. Fire skills fruit, Ignis Breath. Ooh. Oh, it's legendary! Aha! 
Okay, that's sweet. We crafted a high quality workbench. Fire skills. Legend, wait for it. Derry, you found the best crossbow schematic. Mega skills. It's even better than mine. <laughs> That's what they call streamer loot. <laughs> what if it's going to take to craft that thing? Probably does like 600 damage. I'm really curious to see what it does. Um, okay, I want to get across to there. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and we'll... Oh, that was not the right thing. We'll ride rabbit across to save my staminas, and then I'll use my stamina for climbing. Science time! This mount. It's mean your level 2 feather headband has better stats. I didn't think about that. I don't know. Beats me. <laughs> Epic quality does 448. Oh man, I really want to craft it and find out now. Well, that was fun. Okay, so someone said back by the uh, the trader there, there was. Uh... Huh. Another one of those green statues. Unless you were talking about that one right there. Ooh, climb fast. Ooh, that was almost not fast enough. Rabbit was drowning. Saved you, buddy. Get up there? That's crazy. We gotta climb that? Oh, I li literally have to climb it. Okay. Hm. Wouldn't it be funny if I went to the vendor and accidentally sold that gold schematic? <laughs> There'd be a mutiny! Oh, there is right another statue right here. Nice. Life Monk Effigy. I think someone said they saw one across the water over here. I said it was to the right of where the cave was, right? In the village? So that's where the cave was. It's closed up now. Oh, there's an egg. Another damp egg. I don't see a life monk statue here, though. It's got your 15 effigy upgrade. Very nice. I think I've got enough now. I think to get the level the uh, the seven effigy one. Yeah, I'm gonna sell the ruby and the uh, the whatever I got. Sell. Two rubies and two of the precious entrails. That'll give me another 2,700. Gold. Let's see if he's got a moo cow now. Moo. <laughs> give me moo cow. A loop moon. Claws glistening in the dark is his partner skill. I can't look at it though. I wish he could like hit F to see the uh, the abilities described. All right, let's go back to my uh, fancy house. Enthusiast, uh, what's it? Enthusiastic amateur researcher? What are you enthusiastically amateur researching? Ever bumped into an extraordinarily strong and big pal? Just my speculation, but it seems to be some kind of leader who controls the pals around. Oh, those are alphas then. The ones that people were calling like lucky or like rare or whatever. Those are the alphas, I guess. If you can make your ally, it would sure be handy. But it's super powerful, so be careful. 
Huh. Ah, you too. Okay, let's go back to my house. Go buy, go find the black market trader. Wait, there's a black market trader? Why is this Barton? Okay. Uh, this can go in here. Pizza slice can go in there too. Might as well put that food in there. Stash some fruit in there. We'll take them out. I want to see what it's going to take to make this fancy crossbow. How does that work? Be crafted the high quality workbench. Unlocks recipe for crossbow legendary. There it is. 67 ingots. 12 ancient civilization parts. 33 nails. Okay. Give me a little bit before we can craft that. I gotta go get some ingots. The ancient civilization parts will probably be the bigger pain. I think Brian caught a boss today. Nice, nice. That's, uh... That's a lot of ancient civilization parts. <laughs> Twelve of them. Like, my god. I'll put that in there for now. It is pretty sweet, though. I can't believe we got one of those already. That's crazy. Now we need to go mining. Yeah, so uh, the the biggest thing is going to be getting the uh, the ancient civilization parts, really. Why is he incapacitated? What happened? Unconscious. Take pal to the thug box. Or the pal box, rather. What happened to that guy? I don't think he knows what's going on. Um, who got put in this place? Why are my why are all my Tiefens just called Tiefen now? I thought I named them all. Uh Where's the boss one I caught? Did that normally have like a logo on them that shows? See the oh there it is there, right in here. Hydrojet aqua gun soothing shower. When activated, spouts mysterious water that soothes wounds and restores the player's hit points. <laughs> so basically, the thing pees on me and I feel better. That that's awkward. <laughs> Look how big it is, too. Can I ride on top of it? No. Dang it. This egg's almost done. 47 seconds. We'll have more eggy goodness. Uh, I should check my food situation over here. You guys fed? 121 eggs. There's a lot of eggs in there. Now I remember why I had a sheep out. All, all the wool that it was giving me. Uh, we should have an upgrade ready for this. Oh, I'm one short. That'll increase my capture power. And stats. I'm going to increase my weight capacity again. Storing more stuff or carrying more stuff anyway. Complete. Oh, we got another dinosaur. That's fun. Okay, we need to rename this thing. What can we name it? <clears throat> this one could be, uh, sick one. I had a couple of things that weren't named. I think it was the T fins, right? A couple of, couple of T fins we caught that I didn't name yet. 
Darken Lord will do. Darken Lord one. Nothing says danger like a cute little elephant named Darken Lord. Rasputini. Ra ra Rasputini. Uh, who else can we name one after? Zucklack? Who else? Bugman! I wish you could sort ones or. Oh, wait, or can you? I guess I can. Hold on. Uh. My pal deck number? There we go. That's better. I like that. Should have done that earlier. I can see what I've got for all these different uh, critters. I got a few of the fire ones, holy. Anyway, I named him Dark Lord. Isn't it supposed to be Dark and Lord? It is supposed to be Dark and Lord. I misspelled. Imagine that. There we go. Oh, the Depressos haven't been named yet. Who wants to be depressing? Oh, God, no. That was the wrong button. Who's feeling a little depresso? <laughs> Richard. Sorry, Richard, you're looking a little depresso. It's fun to play, I've been sinking some time in it. It is actually really entertaining. I have to say, like, it's kind of a mishmash of a, of a number of different things. Um, but all the stuff that I've done in it so far has been fun. It's not like, it's not like a raw, survival experience or anything like that, but it doesn't have to be. It's just it's fun and goofy and, I don't know, everything I've done has been fun to do. Sean, or only one Sean. Sean the Depresso. Got another <gasps> Fuddler we need a name, too. I see how you feel about me. <laughs> Angelus 1182. There you go. I think the rest of them we have named. There we go. Sweet. All right, well, it's uh, it's getting late. It's already midnight my time. I gotta work in the morning, so I'm gonna crash for tonight. We made some good progress tonight, though. We killed off the uh, the tower boss. We got ourselves a legendary crossbow schematic that I gotta now get materials for to make. Uh, I might have sold you Denny and Beauty. I can't remember. <laughs> I did sell a few uh, a few pals because we had too many. Anyway, we'll be playing some more of this. I'm actually really enjoying it. Uh, tomorrow night I'm planning to play some State of Decay 2 as we continue with that community we had in progress. Uh, this week I'm off Wednesday through Friday, so I'm going to have a daytime stream as well as my regular night stream. I'm going to be playing a lot of Enshrouded this week because it comes out on Wednesday and I've been really looking forward to that coming out. Uh, I did have a chance to try an early build of the game quite some time ago. Uh, it was pretty cool, so I'm looking forward to playing a bunch of that this week. And then this weekend, I'll decide what I'm going to play based on how the week's progressing. If there's still, like, tons of interest in Enshrouded by the end of the week, we might play more of that. Otherwise, we might come back and play some more, um, some more Pal World or, uh, I don't know, something else. We'll figure it out. But thanks so much, everyone. I really appreciate it. Thank you for the super chats and everything as well. I'm, as always, Cryptic Fox. I'll see all of you next time.